how to minimize YouTube on iPhone. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll simply guide you through the steps on how you can minimize YouTube on iPhone. So make sure to watch the video till the end. So if you have the YouTube application over here, and then basically you play a certain video from the list, right? So let me also go ahead and then play a certain video here. And when you basically play a certain video, you want it to minimize, which means that what you're talking about is whenever you close like this, you want to minimize YouTube while also using other apps. And this mode is actually called picture in picture mode. Now, it is very, very simple to actually minimize YouTube. One thing you can do is, of course, you can actually buy YouTube premium, but I'm sure most of you are definitely looking for the free way to do this. So instead, what I want you to do is open a Safari browser search for this keyword known as shortcut iphone youtube pip right so i want you to simply search for this keyword as you can find here and once you search for this keyword you're going to be able to see a various list of search results where you can see the first series shortcut which is youtube pip make sure to tap on there once you tap on this series shortcut pip over here you'll be able to see these terms and conditions of course just make sure to accept it here you can see YouTube PIP. Now, if this is confusing, I'll make sure to drop this direct link down in the description box below so you can directly click on that. So here you can just tap the get started option. It'll ask you to install this shortcut over here. So we're going to go to add shortcut tab, tap on the replace option because I've already added previously. I'll make sure to just tap the replace option over here. And now you can see my shortcuts has been added up. So make sure to open the shortcut application if you don't see this. Once you open shortcut, you'll see the shortcut we added, which is YouTube PIP. Now first make sure to tap on it here. And here you can see it will give me a little pop-up that says could not run unknown action because a required app is missing. So we want to see what that app is. So you want to make sure to tap the show button. It will show me right over here again. The action cannot be run because a required app is missing, of course. So we're going to just tap on view in app store. And then the required app missing is actually this application over here, which is called scriptable, right? So this is the application that you basically want to download. So make sure to just tap on this cloud like icon to go ahead and then download it. It is, of course, going to take a while to download it. So I'll be back after this download process. So you can see now the download has begun. Now we're not going to do anything, we're just going to exit out of it and we're going to open YouTube. And once you open YouTube and I'm going to play that similar video here, what you want to do here is just tap the share button. Once you tap the share button, scroll all the way to the right hand side and then over here make sure to just tap this more option. Once you tap on more, scroll down here, you'll be able to see this shortcut over here that says YouTube PIP at the bottom which we just added. Tap on YouTube PIP and at the very beginning if you're doing this for the first time it'll ask you for a couple of permissions so we want to set this to always allow if you don't want to do this every time right we'll just set this to always allow and as we do that that video from YouTube is actually going to be played in picture in picture mode and meanwhile I can go ahead and then use other applications such as settings I can open up my app store I can do whatever else I prefer the good news about this is that I can also resize it to any part of the screen that I would like as you would be able to find it over here and this way you'll be able to minimize YouTube on PIP on your iPhone even on the free version hope this video was very helpful if you have any questions of course feel free to leave them down thank you for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you soon in the next video